how you doing? Glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. We are glad you're here for today's video. In older videos, we were told that we talk too much. So if you just want to jump into the meat and potatoes, uh, per se, of this video, go ahead and check in the description. Click on that uh, little time uh, stamp. Jump right into it right now. If you're still here and you haven't done that, we are Mom, Dad, and Girls. We are a family YouTube channel. Uh, we do a lot of vlogs. Everything from life to DIY, tool reviews, toy reviews, travel, kids stuff, all different kinds of stuff. And we are glad you're here. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Because uh, this is the reason we do what we do. We are trying to gather interest to start a small business in woodworking. And one of our tools that has lasted quite some time actually just died. Take a picture here. That is a Chicago electric 12 inch double bevel miter saw. We picked it up on stuff like 130, 140 bucks. Ended up putting like a $70 blade on it. It ran great. The guard broke. I don't, I don't I'm not comfortable using a uh, any saw without some type of safety equipment, uh, let alone a miter saw without a guard. So it had to go. Uh, plus, it was it was on its last leg. It had traveled here and there, it had been knocked around, it wasn't as straight as we'd like, it took more time than needed to get it aligned. So that's why we have this today, which is the DeWalt DWS779. Big, black and yellow, Bohemian. So, uh, Bevel weighs in like 67 pounds maybe, give or take. In the box, you're supposed to have a blade. There's been a lot of controversy where the blade's gonna be like a 36 tooth or a 60 tooth, whether it's for cross cuts or whether it's for ripping. Don't know what's in here, or don't really care too much. Uh, but anyway, you're gonna get the blade, you're gonna get the blade wrench, you're gonna get the little dust bag, you're gonna get the little material clamp that goes on your rail. Uh, you are gonna get the actual saw itself with a nice three year warranty. Uh, it does have a 15 amp 3800 RPM motor, which is pretty nice. Uh, I've watched other videos where this bad boy will kick back on you, so make sure you have it mounted to something decent. Now that motor is supposed to give you uh, I don't know, like six and three quarter uh, vertical cut capacity. Uh, if it's like nested crown, it says like seven and a half inches that you're gonna get if it's nested crown. So cross cut of this is gonna be right at 14 inches. So this is what we have. Uh, like I said, this was a impromptu or a needed buy. Our saw went out, we are in the middle of doing a bunch of awesome projects, so we had to get this in. It did take about five days to get here from Amazon because nowhere around had it in stock. Uh, Amazon shipped it a little bit rough, but uh, thank God that DeWalt knows how to package some stuff, so I'm not worried about uh, any issues going on with this saw on the inside due to shipping. But we're gonna take it apart, inspect it, put a new blade on it, and I also went and picked up this uh, miter stand. It's got a Harbor Freight, cost uh, like 100 some bucks, not too bad. Uh, I wasn't gonna drop almost the same price of the saw as on the stand. You can pick this saw right now between $399 to like $349 if you catch it at the right place. Uh, also, it's basically the exact same saw as DeWalt's top of the line, which is their DWS 780. The only thing that has is the shadow light uh, that casts a shadow on your blade that shows you where you're going to cut it at. The last one, like I said, well, we had a Harbor Freight saw. It did not have a shadow. Uh, it didn't have a laser, but it was never really accurate, so I got used to just eyeballing the blade and just knocking stuff out, so I have no concerns or no need for the extra expense at the time. Anyway, went ahead and got this, so we're going to knock this out and see where we get tonight. Let's jump into that. All right, did a little flyover. Got this styrofoam out of the box so far, no issues. Just gonna take the tape off. Here you're gonna have your work mounts for either side of it. There we're gonna have the work tool or the, the Allen key. This is gonna be your dust bag. And then another work mount for the other side. Mounts. Make sure it's like cast aluminum. And then you have your workpiece clamp. Nothing else really comes in here. Oh, I lied. It's always the wing nuts, fellas. And that's pretty much it in this big bulk of styrofoam. Alright, so I've watched tons of videos about different saws. This saw uh, was chosen for a number of different reasons reliability, the, the true and straight out of the box, the quality of the saw itself. I like the, the reliability and the dependability of a, a sliding uh, miter saw. I was looking at the 12-inch uh, Delta Cruiser with the uh, like articulating arms or whatever you want to call them. 
And you know, I just, I'm worried because this has to go to and from a job site. I was gonna get the cruiser and I was gonna put it over here in a miter saw station dedicated in about a year when I decided to build all that out with the cabinets. But right now, like I said, the saw broke, we needed this one. So this is gonna be our job site saw. And then maybe a year down the road when I do decide to build out the cabinets, we'll get a, a smaller, you know, less of a profile to saw. Maybe the footprint is too big. Man, so, uh, who knows what terminology is? Like I said, I'm weighing all this every day. So um, yeah, we're just gonna knock this out. I've watched a lot of people struggle trying to get this out of the box and struggle because it is packed pretty securely. I'm gonna try something that I usually do with big box items and uh, it's pretty simple. Just grab a razor knife and uh, make a few cuts and lift the box open. You can slide it in and out whichever way you want. You ain't gonna manhandle and try to get the vacuum off of it and kick it off with your foot and drop it. And, Way too much stuff. Work smarter, not harder. So let's get started. There you have it. Now you can slide it any which way you want. I'm going to show you three cuts of a decent razor knife. Uh, I did notice a little bit of damage to the box here. Um, like I said, Amazon kind of tore it up a little bit. And then there's some decent damage back here that crumpled. Um, but we're going to get into it and see exactly what it was. Normally I wouldn't cut this, but because of the damage, I'm going to cut it just to see before I destroy the uh, cardboard, or before I destroy the styrofoam. See if anything is actually done. Let me just off here. Oh, can you move the fence over on me? Sorry, it's off camera. The wonderful Mrs. Just lift it up and slide the fence that way. Perfect, thank you. <clears throat> Like I said, DeWalt packages things pretty well. We have a few different DeWalt tools that we like. Um, but let's go ahead and get this out and see how it lines up. Well, there you have it. Pretty much it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and open her up, go through the features. Why don't you join me? So here we have it. I'm going to do a little rundown, a little tour of it. So get your handle. It does come with a nifty uh, little trigger guard. You can't just squeeze it. You actually have to caress it and then you'll be able to go all day. So remember, caress and then go. Because if you just do it, you can't. You know, it is also ambidextrous, which is really cool, depending on how you're cutting, because you don't want to be all crossed up, you know, all backwards and trying to hold something with your hand. So, you know, just hold it and rock it out. I like that part. Uh, back here is how you're going to release it. So apply a little bit of pressure down, pull the pin, and then we'll open that arm all the way up. And if you want to see, they did send us a 32 tooth. I've uh, watched people complain and say they got a 60, but neither here nor there because not like how we really use it. We are going to replace this with a 12 inch uh, Diablo 80 tooth blade. I would order a, a Freud, but Again, need it now, need it yesterday. So we're gonna go ahead and get this done. Now go ahead and let the guard come back down, bring it down there, apply some pressure, push it in, and it's done. Now, what confused me is I've seen a lot of people complain uh, that they have to tighten it down with this right here, which will allow it to slide. And they said they don't like tighten it down because it made no sense because there was a hook that was somewhere in this area. If you look, there is no longer a hook that would come down and catch and hold this from sliding. So not sure what happened or why DeWalt took that away. Uh, on the box, it's not there. I went and checked every other uh, DWS779 and it was there. Uh, this was made, I checked the date code, it was made in 2020. So maybe, you know, it disappeared with, you know, when COVID came, it got scared or something. But it's gone. So uh, comment down below if you have any idea where it went. But it's cool, I, my other saw only had this to lock the slider down anyway. That's cool, if you look down here, it is gonna be your dust chute. Uh, the bag would go on the back, and we're gonna hook up some two and a half inch dust collection to the back of this bad boy and try to suck all the dust out. Now again, back to this, lift it up. You are gonna have some positive detents here. I believe it said there was like 10 or 11, you're gonna be at zero, rock it over, you're gonna stop 15. 22 and a half, 31.6, 45. Any surprise? But then this goes all the way to 60. So this will cut 60 to this side. And then if you switch around with me and follow all the way back around and all the other detents, we're gonna go this way. 
And we're gonna do, what do you know? And we're all the way at 50 on this side. Boom, easy, easy, all the way at 50. And it's gonna come all the way back around and it will lock back down. Now, once you get this all, once you get it all squared up, set up, if you realize that it's not exactly where it, be, it needs to be, maybe a degree this way, half a degree that way, you can come down here and actually do some minor alignments by loosening both those screws, loosening both those screws, and adjusting it that way. Now, to get your double bevel feature, you just come right back here, switch sides real quick, right there, unscrew this bad boy, and then it will rock and roll wherever you want to go. And then it stops, back at zero. Quick, easy, hang this. Now we are going to see about putting on some accessories real quick. Those being, here's your dust bag. I guess I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna throw it right over there in the cabinet with the rest of the uh, information. And then you have your little piece, your work hold piece, or your work clamp, whatever you wanna call it. Hey, what, to be this late at night, it should not be this hot. I don't know where you guys are, but it's Florida, and it's baking inside this garage. Bacon, even this late at night. Been dark for a while. This hot. All right, this can go on either side. Uh, you have it here. But if you need to look down in there, and you actually get a sight down in there, it only goes in one specific way. So the flat little piece on your bar here has to go in like that. And then once it slides in, you are good to go and you're not really going too much anywhere you just gotta screw this thing all the way up so yeah not gonna do all that right now like I said about the heat but you get the idea pretty quick pretty easy I'm not going anywhere if you want to take it somewhere straight in the back and it's gone so remember have it facing backwards spinning where you want to go now up to these fences I said I think this is all just cast aluminum and you got a couple little adjustments and of course both your fences will slide anywhere you really want them to go so and you just lock them right back down so me i like to push my top fences out of the way just a little bit i've been known to cut a fence or two in my time put a comment down below if you've done the same that's how you know the comments gonna blow up. All right, now you have some extension arms right here. I'm gonna put those on, mainly just to give me an extra thing to hold on to when I pick it up, I guess. Okay. So obviously, one side for the other, one side for this one. Put the saw right over. You mount these right up on the bottom. We'll get to that right now. to interrupt the tranquil moment with a saw and all, but who doesn't love a tool that comes with its own spot for its adjustment tool? One less thing to lose, right? So here we are. Again, we have it fully assembled, ready to go, brand new, out of the box, hasn't even been ran once. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the uh, factory DeWalt blade. We're gonna throw on uh, Diablo blade. So that's probably why you're, you're watching this. If you didn't continue over from the original video, this is, you know, how to change a blade on the DWS 779. Again, great saw from what we're told, never used it. Let's get a new blade on there so we can test it out and see how well this machine actually runs. Again, real uh, quick and easy, right over here, pull, push down, pull the pin, it'll slide right open. You wanna take this, bring it all the way back. You can even unscrew this screw just a little bit to catch just enough right there. Make sure you unscrew that screw just enough to catch that guard. You can see it working its way out uh, when you're doing it. Now, right here, it's gonna be the blade mechanism that will hold the motor in place so you can change your blade out. Use supplied wrench, press that, come back on the other side here, 
and you will loosen this somewhere. What is that? Hmm. Push that all the way out of the way. And then we'll loosen it together. See, we're doing something new every day. And obviously, it's going to be completely backwards from what you're used to. I think this has a 5 8 inch arbor. So again, everyone, remember, lefty, tidy, righty, loosey. There you have it. Your DeWalt 32 to 12 inch construction blade. All right. Do not use the blade that comes with it. <laughs> no, definitely, it's, it's a decent blade. I've watched a lot of people use it and they say they love it. I've been using uh, Diablo for a while now. Um, like I said, I was gonna upgrade and go to a Floyd Industrial uh, blade. But new saw requires a new blade. Was the other one kind of you know more anyway? Anyway, here we go. Nice Diablo 82 12 inch blade. Make sure you unscrew this. You can even loosen this one if you want. Slide it all the way up. It is tricky getting this bad boy up in there. So do your best not to bang it around. I am not gonna do my. I'm gonna do my best, but it happens. So especially with a new saw, I have a change of blade on this saw. But here we go. I'm gonna slide it up gentle, make sure you have it going the correct way with the rotation. There are two little screws back there, right here, and I can't loosen them to save me, but I'm just gonna put the plastic guy out of the way. Right about there. Boom, see, life is easy. Make sure you don't lose any of your arbor pieces. Get that back on there nice and straight. Get it sunk into the arbor. The next piece there. Remember, lefty tidy, righty loosey. And all of your woodworking dreams are about to come true. That's what they say. Again, go back over here to the blade stop, the motor stop, the spindle lock, whatever you want to call this little button. Just spin it until it stops. Do it the wrong way. See, look at that. Got one roll. Right, I'm grab your nifty. Oh, so it's this one, isn't it? Your nifty little tool and tighten it away just until you feel that it's secure. About there. Now it's unlocked, ready to go. Make sure you screw these back in with this. Bring it down some, get everything back. Nice and lined up. What's your favorite hobby? It's me, I'm sweating in the garage at 10 o'clock at night. I like the long cold walks to the shower. Nice. And I did loosen this one up. It is a little bit tricky to get to, but you can certainly get to it. Make sure everything is nice and tight on your saw. Done, done, done. Back here, uh, a couple quick adjustments. You just flip and then flip it. Or it's out, it'll let you bevel it all the way to this way and all the way back. And then you just lock it back and then back at your zero stop. And tighten this down. Easy peasy. Quick and easy, guys. Some more styrofoam. Don't want to show up on a job site with some styrofoam still in your saw. Embarrassment. Like new work boots. At least rub some dirt on when you get out of the 7 Eleven for your morning Gatorade. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and lock this uh, bad boy in, try to see if we can't get it as close to zero. Again, like I said, guys, I'm pretty much not new to woodworking, but getting there. And this is how I just check handy dandy, boom. It's pretty good in my book, straight out of the, out of the box. But there is some minor adjustments that will be done to get it dead set on zero. Let's do those now. Pretty much dead set, right at 90, good to go. 
I'm not gonna complain at all uh, because I am about to put this all to work. Alright, so here's the stand. Scrub your, you know, the box cutter that we use to open the saw with or whatever, and just lock off the little packing wrap. Or what are those called? What are these called? Post down in the comments below. What are they called? So wraps in the corner. I don't know. Wraps. Straps. Wraps. Straps. I don't know. Put it in the comments what it is. I want to take this bad boy and lay it down. It is huge. It will roll out and will allow you to cut 16 inches. Oh, uh, 16 inches. That's just, you know, that's all you really need to cut. Just, Ooh, that's all, that's, that's a lot again, right there. Again, we're, we're rocking it at 10 o'clock at night, 100 degrees in this garage store. 16 foot. Uh, it does have some decent little rollers on it. And hopefully your Harbor Freight has them. This is even selling out like crazy to, uh, to mine. So here's what we get. A bunch of stuff. We got a couple rollers, some tube. And uh, let's, let's get this bad boy assembled and put the, the saw in there. You just wiggle your nose and it just, bam, is there, right? So you're appearing in the video, huh? Bing. Bing. Especially with the upcoming um, four or five days of long hours and a lot of sweat and catch back up from being out of commission for that saw. So let's get that bad boy mounted and see what everybody thinks. If you're using this stand or a stand like this, I definitely recommend to take the mounting brackets to the saw instead of trying to bring the saw over to the stand and then try to figure out mounting and spacing and too dangerous. Smarter, not harder, guys. All right, so there you have it. It is mounted to the Chicago Electric uh, Rolling Miter Saw Stand. Um, you know, it's, it, it seems super sturdy. It's not gonna be as easy or convenient as like the DeWalt or um, some rigid that I've seen. But for 125 bucks, 150 bucks, depending on if it's on sale or coupon or whatever you find it at, not a bad deal at all. Uh, same thing for the saw. If you can find it at you know $3.99, it's a great buy. I uh, have not had a chance to do some cuts, but like I said, it's late. I like to keep my neighbors appeased. I'm not gonna start running the saw tonight. Uh, I heard that it is a, a quieter here, quieter versus the last one, but neither here nor there. I will run some test cuts tomorrow. I plan on cutting some 4x4, um, some 2x3, and then some regular 1x. And then start knocking out my veneers and stuff I use free face doors with. Uh, so here is the saw. It is set up on the stand. They say it's quick and easy to, to shut it, to break it down. Lift up here on the little handle. Okay. So I would lift up here, retract your two feet, your feet. I try to figure out a way to do everything by myself if I can. Rotate it down to the wheels. It'll sit there. Walk over here. Show my best side. Lift it all the way up. Press the locking pins. Well, that's not too safe. Push these up a bit. Push it all. Push it 
up a bit. Let it fall. This bad boy is not where I want it. What? Where do you want it? Figured out what I was doing wrong. Quick and easy. So on the other side of this roller, it has two feet. What you want to do is unscrew the roller before you break it all down. Push it all the way up. That way it gives you some support from wanting to tip forward. Like I said, this thing looks like it's solid. Um, definitely a little heavier than I expected. A little bit more cumbersome, but you know, I, I was looking at the DeWalt's and the other brands and they look bigger down here. And this is gonna be quick and somewhat easy to get to a job site because I can pick that side up and roll it in the back of the car, slide this in, then pack around it, pack on top of it, roll it back out, and we'll see what happens. But so far, I like it. Just pray that I don't come out here and my saw's on the ground in the morning. That would suck. But uh, there you have it. Again, the Chicago Electric Power Tools, you know, heavy duty mobile miter stand, and uh, a DeWalt DWS 779. I'm tired, I'm more out. To all these videos in. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Put in the comments what I can do better, what I can do worse. I guarantee you it's not the best one you'll see, but it's mine. Y'all have a good one. End of our videos, we say peace. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the circle logo right here. Also, check out the newest vlog we just uploaded. If you've already seen that one, we picked out a special one just for you. So go ahead and give that one a watch. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you watching. At the end of our videos, we always say peace.